if you were to plug one function into the other, remember, what you're going to do to verify that these two are functions is you're going to plug g of x into f of x. Basically, remember what this means is f of g of x has to equal x. So basically, what you're going to do is take the g of x function and plug it into the f of x function. So in this case, g of x is 7 over x. So I would have f of x equals 7 over, instead of x, I'm going to plug in g of x, right? Because that's my new input variable. g of x is 7 over x. Now, how do we simplify something like this? Well, just like we did on that last example, guys, when you have complex fractions, which we're going to go over and review again for you guys, you have a fraction, you have a, a number being divided by a fraction, multiply again by the reciprocal. Just get rid of it. In this case, my reciprocal is x over 7. Well, I want to multiply by my whole reciprocal in this case, because then what that's going to do is eliminate, uh, my, uh, eliminate my denominator to 1, and that's OK. So then I have x over 7. So I multiply by the reciprocal in the top and the bottom in this case, where in, in that previous example, I only multiplied um, just the numerator, the numerator of the reciprocal. Well, here, that goes to 1. And then here, I have basically it's 7 over 1 times x over 7, right? I'm sorry? OK. So therefore, the 7s divide to 1, you're left with x. Do you guys see that? If I did the exact same problem again, if I did this, remember that means g of f of x. And we want that to equal x. So now you take the g of x function and you plug f of x in for x. Well, guess is that the exact same thing? Yeah. So guess what? It's going to work for both of them. OK? Yes? 